Hey guys, so I posted on um, Instagram that I got my R5 and I've gotten a number of questions about, you know, how do I like it? Um, a lot of people are kind of on the fence. Um, to explain where I'm coming from, I did have a Sony a7 III. The camera was absolutely amazing. I sh but I have shot with Canon for years, so I have a lot of Canon glass. And one thing with the Sony is the eye, auto the eye autofocus was amazing, but I was so used to um, changing my focus points um, by hitting um, the focus select button, and then I use the back wheel to make the focus points go across, and I use this front wheel to make them go up and down. So I'm very efficient at getting that point where I need it. Um, I don't like using the joystick. Not that I don't like it, I just, I'm so used to doing it this way. I've done it for five, six years at least. Um, even before I had 5Ds, even with, with older Canons, um, I learned to move that focus point around really good. So one problem that I personally had with the Sony was I wasn't able to do that. Um, you can move the focus point around with the joystick, you can move it with the back screen, but I was never able to get fully comfortable. And I think a lot of it is just because I was so used to shooting how I shoot. Um, and so trying to learn something new, especially out, you know, when you're with clients can be really frustrating. Like I said, the eye autofocus was amazing. And the camera, the Sony a7 III is amazing. And I, I loved it. But when I got into certain situations, particularly with backlighting, um, and there were some other things that all of a sudden it was just very uncomfortable um, because I wasn't used to it mostly. Um, that being said, I jumped back over to my Canon 5D uh, Mark IV and immediately I was having a lot more fun shooting. And I remember it specifically, I went out on a shoot and I was like, oh my goodness, like, this is, this is fun again. Because the, the last couple times I was with the Sony, I really struggled. Um, so from that point on, I, I sort of, I moved back to the, the Canon system. Um, and I did have some Sony glass too. And, and again, I, nothing bad to say about that. The only thing negative that I would say about the Sony a7 III would be the gray, focus point. And I know in their newer cameras they changed that. I don't know if they did a firmware update. So when you switch out of eye autofocus um, to moving your focus point around on the a7 III, it's gray and it's really, really hard to see. So, but back to this camera. Those are, those are some of the things that I didn't like about the a7 III. Um, now, back to the R5. And I wasn't sure I was going to like mirrorless at all. Because after the experience with the Sony and I just, there, there were some things that I went back to the, the digital SLR and like I said, I was having more fun shooting. However, having some images, having a lot of images come back soft and out of focus has been a pain in the butt. Um, that's been a real issue. I like to shoot at like f2.2, I like to shoot wide open um, and a lot of times it just would, the Canon would just miss focus. So in comes the 5D, or, or sorry, so in comes the Canon R5. Well, long story short, I sold my Sony to put the money towards this camera back in July. And I just got this camera last week. Um, I did actually today shoot um, a portrait session with it. It went really amazing. But one of the things that I love is that it, I can select the, the focus points the same exact way that I could with my 5D Mark IV. So, and the, the eye autofocus works amazing. So, you know, I can have it, you know, with the click of a button, I can have it in full time eye autofocus. Um, and then I just hit the, the focus select in this M function and it'll put it in one point focus. Or I can have it in one point focus and I have this, um, the autofocus on dedicated to eye autofocus. So it's really easy to switch between the two. Uh, the muscle memory is the same for me. So I think I'm gonna really love this camera. And plus it doesn't, it, I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem to have as many 
stops along the way, which I kind of found like there was too many. Like I, I didn't need it to stop every single millimeter, like the focus point. So with this on the smallest one, it, it seems to move across faster using, um, again, the, I use this, the back wheel and the front wheel. So that's something I really, really um, am loving. I did shoot a little bit of video with it. Um, I shot at 4K on uh, 60 frames per second. Um, I also got the 50 millimeter lens and I shot this video at 1.2 and I have to say, it, it, the video footage looks amazing. I wasn't shooting in C-Log or anything, just a standard profile and it looks incredible. Um, um, I really, really like that. The only thing, and again, this is just first impressions. I've had this for like a week and I just shot like a, one professional session with it because um, I wasn't fully comfortable with it. I had to get things set up and so far I'm loving it. The only thing would be that I wish it was a little bigger actually. Like for me, like it, with the Sony, I had bought a, a really right stuff bottom plate and it was really comfortable. It, it, it just filled out the bottom perfectly. I also had the battery grip, but I never, I've got the battery grip for a couple cameras and I've never really fully gotten used to it myself. Um, so right away after I held this, I was trying to find a, a bottom plate, like the one I had, um, the really right stuff one I had for the Sony, which was really nice. It had a bracket up here so you could mount, or down here, so you could mount it to um, any Arca Swiss ball head, which I have, and you can mount it this way. And it, it was just the, the perfect fit. So I'm really hoping that they make one similar. I see they have one, but it doesn't, it doesn't fill up the grip. So, like I said, my, I mean, I have fairly big hands and it's not a deal breaker, but I like the feel of the 5D Mark IV a little bit better. Not, I mean, this thing's clearly built really well. Um, and the flip out screen's really cool. The video seems amazing. The images coming from this lens and this camera are insanely sharp. I mean, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to using it. Um, again, this is just my first impression on the camera. Um, after I use it a little bit more, um, I'll give you, you know, a, a more in-depth of, of my thoughts on it. But so far, I'm very happy. Um, I'm actually looking to sell um, possibly both my 5D Mark IVs, not yet. Um, to maybe pick up this um, R6 as a backup, but I'm, you know, I'm a very manual shooter. I, I, I really just want ISO, shutter, and aperture. That, that's it. And I like the fact that the buttons are back to where I can adjust those very quickly. There is no white balance dedicated button on the top, which maybe I just haven't figured it out yet. But you know, that's not not the end of the world, and I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to. Uh, go through and make that work. But, so that's my first impressions. Um, again, I was getting a lot of questions on, on if, you know, what I, what I thought of the camera. And so I hope, I hope that uh, answers your question.